So there it is. I realized I didn't give a good uh, picture of it in the last video. It says, your mother was a hamster. And to which you should reply that your father smelled of elderberries. Um, but yeah, I was talking about... Um, talking about my baby. I was talking about my human experience. And so basically, to sum it up, the human experience was to be very, very sure that suffering is real. Like, to be very aware of my own suffering, to be very aware of all the suffering in the world, and to, to experience it as very fucking real, right? And like I said, I was, I was proud of the fact that I was able to, to keep my heart open and not shut down in that moment. And I did have help from a very good friend. And she also came over to my house later and helped me smudge and, and clear the place. Um, I'm not that psychic, but I've had a few people t tell me that my house is entirely too haunted and they're not sure why I'm not dead living in such a haunted place. And I think that's because I have a high immunity to that type of thing. But also, we all might be crazy. I, we're all certainly crazy, but you know, there may be, there may, I'm not sure that there's any validity to these, to these claims. Um, I haven't seen very much around. I've, I've seen some weird, I've seen and experienced some weird shit in this place. And so, you know, the, the universe is much more strange and more mysterious than we know. But like I said, human experience, um, I was, I was brought into it, you know, I was caught by it and I was, I was shown suffering like real up close. My own suffering and the suffering of the world. Then I get a little help from my friends, you know, I do what I can do. I clean house a little bit. I, you know, make a to-do list. I make sure that my goals are still valid. I make sure that my plan to get to those goals will still work. I make a little progress on the plan. <sighs> I'm having a hard time. I'm drinking too much, uh, both caffeine and alcohol. But I'm much more mindful of this because I've done 100 days of sobriety from both. And so it's, you know, when I drink, I, I realize what's going on. And when I have, like, a, a couple energy drinks and I feel like I'm having a panic attack, I'm like, yeah. Those are the chemicals that you put into your system. This is adrenaline because you have drank a drink that stimulates your adrenaline. And here we are. And I don't, I don't take it too seriously. But, um, but whatever. Monday comes around and I go to work. And of course, I'm not just being challenged in my relationships. I'm also being challenged in my career, you know, and I'm like, I'm being asked to do more stuff um you know and I'm, I'm searching for i'm putting some of this on myself i'm like i published my book i'm searching for podcasts i'm in co communication with a guy from england who has a podcast it's it's small viewership but like shit it's, this is cool i want to go on a podcast and promote my book and it seems like it'll be a mutually beneficial relationship and like legitimately why the fuck would joe rogan have me on you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make any damn sense. It would be a weird thing. Um, I, I'm not newsworthy enough. I haven't done... I, I'm going to, but I haven't yet. And so, like, the level of interest that I have garnered makes sense for where I'm at. And I'm happy with it. And, and it looks like the ember of a flame that I can blow on and, and eventually blow up. And so there's that. So, like, my... My, like, my art is taking off at work. <laughs> the company I work for is expanding. And so it's like in all areas of my life, it's like and my girlfriend was like, I'm tired of, of this conception that the universe is testing us. I was like, no, no, no. It's not that the universe is testing me. It's that I've already been tested and I've shown that I'm ready for the next level. And so the next level has arrived. And it's like, oh, wow, okay. So here's this whole new thing, and it's on all aspects of my life. It's on my art, it's on my livelihood, and, you know, it's on my relationships. And so here we are. 
And that was the human experience. And, and so then after the human experience, I go to work and I, you know, get my shit together and I get myself back to this place of equilibrium. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still drinking a little too much and I'm still dr- using energy drinks a little too much. And I'm still like, I sleep pretty well. Like if, if, Somebody heard me say I'm not sleeping that well, and then they compared what I'm doing to what they're doing. They would probably be like, getting an hour more a night than I am, because I I make sleep sacred. And so like if I'm like oh, I only got seven and a half hours tonight, then I feel like I have done myself a disservice. So like, I'm I'm really good with my sleep. I feel like it's foundational to so many things. So I do make sure that I get enough sleep, but even that has been degraded a little bit in this new level gameplay that I'm doing. But, but in spite of all that, I have, in fact, made it better. I have, in fact, come to some type of tenuous homeostasis. Um, I'm fuck, I'm good enough that I feel confident to record a YouTube video, which I'm, I'm, happy to record YouTube videos about the bad times, but in the middle of the bad times, I don't have the wherewithal to get the phone out and, and put my thoughts together. You know, I'm fucking rocking in the corner. I, I can't make a video. Uh, but after the rocking in the corner ends, I can, you know, report back on it. Um, tell you that it did happen. I'm, I'm fine with doing that. And so, so here we are in, in a slightly more, you know, intentional space slightly better emotional health, mental health. You know, a lot of good things have come out of these challenges. Um, you know, some of my friends have really showed up for me. My, my mom and dad gave me a bunch of money, you know, to, to offset some of the costs of this. And it was, it was really, it was really helpful, like in the immediate practical. And it was also really helpful for me to be able to, to say, okay, well, shit, you know, like, they love me, and, like, it's good to know, you know, this is not, it's not all bad, man, it's, it's not all bad, like, there's, there's some, <sighs> there's some humanity to it, our, our relationship is not perfect, but uh, I love them, and they love me, and, and I, I'm not sure that I knew that before, you know, like, sometimes I did, but there were, there was just, there was some serious doubt on the whole thing and whether there was any, any value to having a relationship with them. And like, as, as difficult as this has been, it's helped me heal my relationship with my dad. And that's fucking huge. You know, I don't want to be a guy running around with a fucking problem with his dad. That's not the kind of, that's not the person I want to be. So this difficulty ha- has, has, dredged up some stuff and it's it's created an opportunity for healing and so regardless all with all of that i finally find myself you know, back at work headphones in nobody fucking with me doing my job and um i start to get my mood back up where i like it to be because i take responsibility for my mood right and all of a sudden, I am, ha- like, as I am ripping out the interior of a car so that we can turn it into a convertible, I am having a mystical experience. And I am in conversation with my higher self. And it's really a dialogue. You know, that's the only way I can explain it, is that, like, I can feel within myself this, this whole conversation going on between what I normally consider me and my higher self. And it's like, there's here's me going, so you mean to tell me that I have a higher self and it exists at the moment of my death and it exists at the moment of my birth and it exists before I was born and it exists after I was born and it's in communication with me now and it's, it is currently in communication with every past version of me. I can't sense them. I'm only here in the moment, but my higher self is in communication with the me that started this conversation. It's in communication with my 20-year-old self. It's communication with my 5-year-old self. It's communication with my future self in when I'm 45 and when I'm 55 and so on and so forth. 
It's in communication with me in every moment of my life. It exists before I was born, and it, it's not that it did exist before I was born, but that it does currently, from its perspective, exist before I was born. Because it's outside of time, and it's trying to wriggle its way into every moment. Um, and to the degree that I don't resist it, it manages to get all the way into the moment and create this full alignment. You're telling me all this. You're telling me that it's in communication with all of it, and it's experiencing everything that I'm experiencing, everything that I have ever experienced, and everything that I ever will experience. And here's the kicker. You're telling me that it's not suffering. How? How is it not suffering? One of the things that I'm experiencing is suffering. And it goes, we're not suffering. Now, how are you not suffering if you're experiencing everything I'm experiencing and I'm one of the things I'm experiencing is suffering? And it goes, we're not suffering. We're not suffering. And I go, oh my God, we're not suffering. And it was like this just wave of relief over me. And from, I don't know it now. I can remember it a little bit. I feel the wave a little bit right now in this retelling, but like it was for a moment perfectly clear that all of the suffering is an illusion and that I'm not actually suffering, that I never have and I never will. And there is no such thing as suffering. What the fuck do you make of that? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. It's crazy. Um, this is like... I don't expect my interpretations to be accurate. In that moment, it was perfect. And I, I was complete. <sighs> and, I've, and now I have the memory of it. Which is nice. It's nice. It's helpful. But you have to experience it for yourself. And it's really only good while it's happening. But that's one of the experiences that's available. And I found it noteworthy that it was exactly as deep as the human experience, where I was quite sure about all the suffering and where I was like really in the suffering and I was really feeling it. It was like, I was shown that. And then I was shown this other perspective where it's like, you're not even suffering, dog. Like, you think that you're suffering, but you're not. It's a game. You're pretending to suffer. And part of you knows that. And when I didn't resist it and was like, oh, I'm not suffering, it changed the past for me. Now, some of it is reverted, but in that moment, it was like, oh, all those things that I thought were awful, I was just pretending they were awful. I wasn't actually suffering. Is it a delusion? I don't know. Did it take all of the weight off of my shoulders for a moment? Yes. Did I feel like I had breathed? Yes. Did it, did it? You really have to experience it for yourself. But I'm telling you, there is a perspective that contains part of the truth. And in that perspective, we're not suffering. And so when people ask about... And so, okay, so when I want to go back to it, to the degree that I can go back to it, here's what I do. I ask the same question over again. And I look at my higher self and I go, so you're telling me, and sometimes it plays ball and sometimes it doesn't, but I look at my higher self and I go, so you're telling me that I have a higher self and it exists before I was born and it exists after I die and it exists now and I'm not aware of all the other versions of me, but you are and you're in communication with all of them and you're experiencing everything that we're experiencing And you're not suffering. And it goes, when it plays ball, it goes, we're not suffering. And I go, oh, we're not suffering. I thought we were suffering. <laughs> you got me. For a minute there, I really thought we were suffering. But we're not suffering. And so, it doesn't seem like there's any way to wrap this up. It doesn't seem like there's any possible ending for this video that makes any sense. Um, but this is a thing that is beyond logic and it's beyond feeling. And maybe 
maybe you can experience it for yourself by, by, by watching this and listening to this, and maybe you can't. And I can't... I can't say anything that could possibly be an appropriate ending for this, so I'm just going to end it the way I end all of my videos, which is to wish you happiness of heart and clarity of mind and satisfaction in all your endeavors and ultimate satisfaction and to say uru kundu konome kono yoko